So a couple of weeks ago, Dennis Prager of Prager U, not a real university, by the way, decided to put the conservative persecution complex on full display when he argued that unvaccinated people are bigger pariahs than gays during the height of the AIDS crisis. Now, he expectedly got pushed back, rightfully so, for that dumb comment. And he's going to respond to critics in this clip that we're about to watch. And as you're going to see, he's going to double down and take things even further. And this is very... <laughs> what he says is genuinely stupid. And the fact that he said it with a straight face is actually impressive to me. Nonetheless, I'm going to let him make his case. And then I'll respond when we return. There were 4,000 FU Dennis Pragers just on one tweet last week because I had the chutzpah to say that the unvaccinated are pariahs the way the, that uh, the gays were during the AIDS crisis. But you see, they have a monopoly on victimhood. There are no non-left-wing victims. That's what they believe. However, I would argue that, that the unvaccinated are bigger, uh, are bigger pariahs. Were, were AIDS uh, or, or gays or, or people with AIDS banned from travel? Where were they banned from restaurants? Were they fired from their jobs? Were they, were they deprived of a way of feeding their family? The unvaccinated are the most hated group uh, since, uh, I would say, since slavery. Name, name me, name, tell me, tell me who would be uh, equivalent. You can say anything you want. You could wish us death. And, and we are wished death. It's exactly right. They should not be allowed into hospitals. Jimmy Kimmel basically said that, and, uh, and, and a whole bunch of others whose names elude me for the moment because I don't follow them much, but uh, the, you could say anything you want about the unvaccinated. I transcribed what he said here, and I can't not think that he believes genuinely so that victimhood is good. He literally said that the left has a monopoly on victimhood. There are no non-left victims. So the implication is that they have this good thing that I want and we're finally able to be victims. And you see, I think that the reason why victimization is so alluring to right-wingers and conservatives is because they're at the tippy top of the social hierarchy. So they see the way that we're trying to right the wrongs of the past by being more inclusive of marginalized communities and expanding rights to other groups who were historically denied those rights. So he sees that and he thinks, why are they getting all this attention? Like, what about me? And he thinks, well, I want to be a victim. I'm a victim too. And this is what conservatives do, generally speaking. So they try to find ways to make themselves the victims. It's not just this. I mean, they talk about the way that they're censored on social media by big tech when Facebook promotes them through their algorithm nonstop. This has been proven by leaks. So they find ways to make it seem as if they're the victims. And it's just weird. They genuinely think that being a victim endows one with some sort of a social payoff. Like you get benefits. You can show your victimization card and get 10% off when you go to Starbucks. I just, I, I don't get it. And it doesn't take into account the fact that people who are marginalized, people who are actually victims, they don't want to be victims. If they had a magic wand, they wouldn't choose to remain pariahs of society to use your language. This isn't what they want. They don't want to be victims. They would like to be equal, hence the reason why they're fighting for civil rights and civil liberties. So it's like he, he sees victimization and he's jealous. That's, that's maybe me like reading a little bit too into it, but that's the way that it seems. And I feel like even as misinformed as he is, he's got to know better. Like I think that what he's saying is what he thinks the crowd wants to hear, but he's got to know better. Gay people historically have been disenfranchised. They have been marginalized. And the reason why it's dumb to compare gays and the LGBTQ plus community, more broadly speaking, to unvaccinated people is because these are two different groups. You're comparing apples to oranges. Being gay, being black, these are immutable characteristics. Whereas being an anti-vaxxer is a choice one makes because they're misinformed, because they have a partisan bias against these vaccines. Nobody gets up in the morning and chooses to be gay or black, but you can choose to make a bad, misinformed decision about your own health that leads to consequences. We are living through a public health 
crisis. This is a pandemic. It's serious. So the government is going to do things if they're responsible to protect the broader public health. That's their responsibility. That's why we have a government. They protect us in theory from external threats. They provide us with certain services, roads to drive on. And during public health crises, they coordinate the efforts to mitigate the spread of the disease. I mean, this shouldn't be controversial if you're an adult and you understand the way that society should be functioning, the way that we have to protect people, but he doesn't. Now, I'm honestly uh, impressed, and I use that word not very often when it comes to Dennis Prager, but he says that uh, the unvaccinated are the most hated group, I would say, since slavery. Now, the reason why I'm impressed is because since it's Dennis Prager, I would have expected him to say, we're actually more oppressed than slaves, but I'm actually surprised he didn't make that assertion, which, I mean, credit words do, baby steps. Um, but that means that every single oppressed group throughout the history of America since slavery has had it better than the unvaccinated. I just want to go through a couple of examples just to highlight how fucking stupid that is. So, uh, Japanese Americans, during World War II, we forced them into internment camps. You honestly believe that they had it better than the unvaccinated. Women didn't have the right to vote until 1920. During the 60s, the Ku Klux Klan terrorized black communities. Terrorized. And black people today are still the victims of white supremacist terrorism. You honestly think that black people overall, who are profiled by the police at higher rates than white Americans, have it worse than anti-vaxxers? Immigrants who are here, brought here by no choice of their own, have to live in fear of deportation constantly. You think that they have it worse or better than anti-vaxxers, rather? I just, I can't believe that he actually thinks this. I think that he's saying this because he knows that right-wingers want to be the victim. They're desperate for victimization, so they will, you know, cling on to whatever makes them feel like victims. Either, you know, they're being... Uh, you know, uh, ridiculed by their family because they have idiotic conservative beliefs or they're being censored by big tech or they're, you know, being made fun of because they're anti-vaxxers and now they can't go see a fucking movie or fly on a plane. Either way, they're going to try to find some way to make themselves the victim when in actuality, they're not the victims. And for all this talk of the oppression Olympics that they oftentimes will condemn, it seems like they really, really want to be able to participate, don't they? But he does provide us with some evidence as to why it's the case that they're the most hated since uh, slavery. And it's because you can wish them death and somebody in the audience recommended, oh, well, they shouldn't be allowed at hospitals. First of all, everyone is allowed to wish death on other people. You can say that it's unethical and immoral, but that's not evidence that you're discriminated against or your victims i feel like i shouldn't have to explain this to a man that's in his 90s or 100s i i don't know uh i'm being a dick but you know he should know by now right um and when it comes to the hospital thing he's leaving out a really really key piece of nuance here the people who made this claim about you know rejecting anti-vaxxers from hospitals it was about the fact that anti-vaxxers were leading to a shortage of resources at hospitals, a shortage of ICU beds because they chose to do something that endangered their own health. So if other people who got into a car crash or had an injury couldn't get into a doctor and they died as a result of hospitals being at full capacity because of anti-vaxxers, that's where people were making the case, you know what, maybe we should just reject them you know, uh, give the bed to someone else who actually didn't put themselves in this predicament. Now, I'm of the belief that everyone in America should be able to get health care if they need it. Even dumbass anti-vaxxers. Yes, they should be treated. But to not point out how they were causing hospitals to be filled up at the height of the Delta variant, that's a really key piece of information that made people justifiably angry with anti-vaxxers. And it's not like we're angry at them because they're affecting us. We're also angry with anti-vaxxers because what they're doing endangers their own health. I mean, I've spoken about this before. I have family members who I love, who I want to stay here, who are unvaccinated. And I've tried to convince them to get vaccinated, not because I want to humiliate them, but because I don't want them to die if they get COVID-19 because they have pre-existing comorbidities. 
I just I feel like he, he he's trying so hard to latch onto anything, and the pushback that he receives from this is only going to further encourage him to take it a step further. Because Dennis Prager, his whole shtick is the more extreme and stupid he is, the more attention he gets. And in a way, I feel guilty for feeding into it. But these kind of things, they have to be called out because to say that you're the victim and that anti-vaxxers are victims, I mean, this is a problem of your own fucking making. So if you don't want to be victim, you know, if you think that you're a victim, genuinely so, and you don't like the way that anti-vaxxers are treated, there's one thing that you can do. Get the vaccine. If you're black and you don't like the way people treat you, you can't stop being black. You can't flip a switch and change your skin tone. If you're gay, you, uh, I guess in theory, you could stop acting on your homosexuality, but you're literally still gay, even if you don't act on it. So the immutable characteristics that's what makes discrimination against these marginalized communities inherently bad. But when somebody makes a choice that endangers themselves and the public health of their community, they're not victims. They're just assholes. When you acting like a beta, 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 beta.